According to many sources, Henry was allegedly built from stolen designs of a prototype sketch of the A-1 Pacific, and then, after the Flying Kipper incident, was built into a Black 5. And all of this is clearly depicted in the Railway series and Season 1 of Thomas and Friends. But then in Season 2 onward, they depicted Henry, who is a Black 5 and does not have splashers, with splashers. Now, I totally get why this would annoy a lot of people, but maybe this is my television series bias coming in, but I actually kind of like the look, so I'm keeping that. Here's my Henry. Henry started his life as a one-off build, based off of stolen designs from Sir Nigel Gresley, but the designers figured out too late that he was a failed concept, so he was a poor steamer when built. The designers were desperate to get rid of their engine, and sold him off to a backwater railway in the northwest region of Britain. Sir Bertram Topham Hatt was desperate for engines at the time, and was happy to hear that he could get an Atlantic for a cheap price. But, well, we know how that went. I wanted an Atlantic, and that son of a bitch sent me that! From here, the story of Henry the Green Engine goes as you would expect, from the tunnel incident, to steaming issues, to eventually one winter where he had a head-on collision while pulling the Flying Gipper. The green engine was sent to crew, may or may not have had a ghostly encounter while he was there, and he was brought back to Sodor as a completely different engine. Of course, Henry is still just a one-off build. I mean, it's not like they just got a different engine and made him look like Henry. <laughs> that would never happen. Anyway, tax fraud conspiracies aside, when Henry returned to Sodor, he did not resemble a Black Five, but instead resembled an LMS Jubilee. Now that we've discussed his basis, I think we should discuss his personality, because depending on which era of the show you watch, uh, Henry can be a very different engine. In my AU, Henry's personality is kind of an amalgamation of the CGI, railway series, and television series depictions. He can be vain, boastful, egotistical, but deep down he is a little bit of a warrior. He's just very defensive about it and denies it. To give an idea, imagine the scene from The Adventure Begins where Henry was hiding in his shed to avoid the rain. Something like this would happen the first time he's out and about after the tunnel incident, but he wouldn't be as jumpy Instead, he'd be making up excuses so he doesn't have to go out there because the storm reminds him of his tunnel incident. He would say things like, Oh, uh, <coughs> sorry, I have a bit of an issue with my boiler. Can you take the train today? <coughs> this, of course, would come to bite him in the tender when he actually starts having steaming issues and no one believes him. Oh, and as one last comment... Henry does stop in the forest to enjoy nature. Of course, he makes sure that the signalman knows he's there. I mean, he wouldn't want to break Rule 55, but he enjoys it. It's a very calming, safe place for him. I think beyond this, my version of Henry is a very traditional take on the character. Originally, I considered just making him an Atlantic. I wanted an Atlantic, and son of a bitch, I got an Atlantic. And don't get wrong, I would love to do that AU one day, but for my version of Henry, I want to keep his story arc. I just want to, you know, make sure he looks like the TV series model by the end. Anyway, I'm Mr. Conductor 13. I hope you've enjoyed my take, and if you have any other characters you'd like me to adapt, let me know in the comments below. Have a good one.